Podcast. It's your boy Jada Bull, my man Doug. What up, what up, what up, what up? And welcome back to our season two premiere, man. Yes, sir. It's been a long time. Um, took a little bit of a break there. <laughs> Hell a of a break. A <laughs> lot of things that have happened in that time. <laughs> facts, facts. Um, I mean, we had a set plan, as yeah. usual, we do. Yeah. We come in with a set plan of what we're going to talk about, but often, more times than not, something comes to dominate the news cycle yeah. at the last minute. And uh, once again, the boy, your boy, the baby, is tripping. I done spoke against the baby a couple of times on this show. So <laughs> if you've been watching, you're not uh, <laughs> unfamiliar familiar to how I feel about the baby antics at times. Yeah. Um, so uh, who, what do you want to do, man? Like, we got a lot to talk about, man. It's the uh, season two premiere. Uh, let's catch up with you first, bro. We ain't seen you on camera in a minute, man. Yeah, no. I mean, Well, not well, really a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot. I was just on uh, the last episode of uh, the Let's Be Honest personal big rated law name. And um, <laughs> they're going to get you, man. <laughs> and no, no, it was fun, man. That was definitely dope. Check that episode out, man. We That was a dope episode, a dope series in general. Um, and uh I know y'all probably looking forward to more than that. But, yeah, I was on there. And, uh, yeah, besides that, though, you know, I haven't been on uh, screen a lot. You know, getting ready for the holidays. You know, we had uh, Halloween. What should you do for Halloween? I know you on, you know, you ain't a kid or nothing. I was chilling, man. <laughs> but I was just, what, you, what was your joy like? Hey, where was I on Halloween? I don't even remember. It was only two weeks ago, but I probably was I probably was out yeah, somewhere. Oh, uh, okay. Well, yeah. I was. Nothing I was Halloween related, related, though. With my kids. And, uh. Who was you again? I was Squid Game. So the funny thing about it, right? I was so excited to be this fucking right. Squid Game. What? You see it? Oh my bad. I was so excited to be this fucking Squid Game character, the um soldier. Did you yeah. watch Squid Games by the way? Yeah, yeah, I saw it. How you? What you think about it? It was cool. Yeah, it was. That's it. <laughs> it was cool. <laughs> it's like the joy only dominated the world. It was for cool, it. like you know what I'm saying. It was, it was, I watched it. You know what I'm saying. No, it was art though. I mean, to be honest, it was just art. It's just that I feel like it, it it took up so much space. Just saying that don't sound like a lot, cause. Yeah. But I mean, that's honestly what I took away from it. It was just art, but you know, it was it was a real interesting concept. Um, you know, with good set pieces and, uh, you know, it was different enough that it, it captivated everybody for a minute. So I get why it was popular, but overall, was it the greatest thing ever so? No. But anyway, I did um, think the characters was pretty cool, and I decided to dress up as the soldier. And, um, yeah, Amazon, man. <laughs> How did the kids feel about it? Huh? How did the kids feel about it? The kids um like it. Just that, but that's I'm going to get back to that. But first... Yeah, Amazon. Ordering shit on Amazon. It could go one or two ways. You and, a hard uh, time? Uh, hard time, a hard fit. That shit didn't fit. <laughs> that shit. Oh, that's where you got your suit from. <laughs> yeah, that's where I got the <laughs> That's where I got the costume from, bro. And that shit did not fit right. So I ended up just wearing a mask. Um, I did try it on. So I took some pictures yeah, of it. You did on. good, though. I remember. I seen it. Yeah. Drink. I was laughing. I mean, but you did good. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice how snug it was? It was pretty snug. I, you can tell I, me. That you wasn't was for me to say. <laughs> <laughs> was it you? Say it, nigga. You no, wanted to say it. shit was snug as hell. <laughs> <laughs> it was snug. It was snug. It was snug. And I wasn't going to go out like that. So That's all good. Bro. I was like, okay, uh, in the house, okay. But um, so unfortunately, it ain't, uh, you know, I'm big up for a reason. Um, so anyway, uh, take a, a little toast real quick, you know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, dang. You already right, you know I hooked you up. Over there, bartender. Not too bad. Yeah, but why do kids know what Square Games is? I don't know, man. That shit crazy. Every, <laughs> all these kids recognize. Kids I was only on. went out in a mask, but yeah. the only people that shouted me out was kids. Square and Games! They love that shit. Yo, I'm us. like, yo, that's, that's just not for kids, bro. It ain't. <laughs> it's like, what is going on? It ain't. But you know, this is the society we living in right yeah, now. Yeah, like once I mean, I mean, I get it, it was the most popular Netflix show ever. But you know, so was was it like you before that? They didn't a bunch of kids running around talking about Joe. Uh, I hope <laughs> not. That's a little different. Yeah, but I think it's like the set pieces and everything, yeah. and a lot of the um, like the YouTube adapted some of the shit. So, but it's kind of you know, I don't know, I don't know about that. Like kids should be. We'll see. It's I- a really violent and sexual. Yeah, I'll I'll rate it a little bit more, judge it a little bit more on season two. 
I think it's gonna suck in season two. By the way, I think so. Yeah. Why you think that? Cause they ain't, bro. He said he's he's listening to to the fans about like potential ideas. I, I, I mean, that was some dick. <laughs> it's just show, my bro. You don't got that. Mean you don't have any ideas, which means you just gonna force some shit for money. So I don't know. I'm just kind of betting on it. It could be worse, bro. It could be worse. It could definitely be worse. But, we'll do a little uh, live session too. We'll be all right. I mean, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um. All right. Yeah. So you wanna catch everybody up on what's going on with? The baby? The baby. Wow, you always make me, you know, feel a story. But I got you. <laughs> so basically, from what I know, uh, he posted a video earlier, him and his be- his baby mom, his baby mother, Danny Lee, the singer, rapper, chick. Danny they was Lee. going at it. Yeah. She a good artist? She's okay. She's okay. She had that one song with Chris Brown. It was all right, right? She, I mean, she, she, what was the one during? She, I don't know was it, with Chris, it was one with Chris Brown, but she also had Take one. It easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, Excuse my um, mm. lyrics. <laughs> Vocals. I, I think that was it. I to be honest, I don't know if that was it. <laughs> I think that's it. We are gonna say it was it. He gonna co-sign on that, right? Like, yeah, it yeah. was something like that. Yeah, yeah. You got to got the point across. <laughs> I get the gist of what she's doing. <laughs> no, nah, it's all good. It's all good. No, but uh, he had her online. He was going at it. He was trying to. I guess he was exposing her. If that's what you want to say. Disrespecting her. Exposing her. Exposing her. I mean, I've heard worse things said. Don't get it twisted, but I mean, he was wrong, you know, saying she a side. I mean, if she was a side chick, she was a side chick. Of course, nobody wants to believe that because of all the shit he was doing. You know, First of all, I hate when she was going like. down and I'm trying to sleep because this shit was going down like 11 o'clock at night. Oh, it happened last night. I seen it this morning. Yeah, but I, I wasn't paying much of mind to it. It was about, a, by the time I realized it, the shaver Murray had nine posts on the shit, and I was like, "Nah, I'm not about to. Yeah, ta- I'm, I'm not about I'm not about to them. tackle that right now." But um, I caught caught it this morning, and I caught it from where the cop showed up. So, what you think about that? Like, should be rappers be calling the cops on their uh, girlfriends? Do their girlfriends call the cops on them? They damn sure do. Hey, uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Pay tax. Yeah, we should be able to call the cops whenever the hell we want. Yeah. Think, but do that like, but but I mean we. Don't that come with some type of hit to the persona of what, like the, like you know, the baby, or what he is? Yeah, he's a killer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a killer. He's a killer. He's a killer. I mean, but I, I, I see what you're saying. So he shouldn't have called the cops. That's what you want to say. Outside of calling the cops, is he handling that situation right to you at all? For like, me. Like as far as like trying to kick her out in the first place, like he, I don't know exactly what the exchange was, but do you feel like he's more responsible to uh, like leave the premises than to actually remove her? Not if it's his premises. But they, should, but the baby, the baby can stay with him. But I don't. Was that the option? <laughs> <laughs> they said the baby kicked the baby coming from out a, the crib. Yo, coming from a nigga that's been kicked out before. <laughs> I ain't, from, you know, what I'm saying Look, I'm on our side always. Mm. So, yeah, she had to go. She had to go, mm. depending on the situation. Well, where was that? It was in California or something. It wasn't huh? cold then. She was good. Was a- <laughs> sure, she got a nice car and shit. Oh, man. Took a walk, a drive. So you, you don't hold. You're not convicted. Yeah, he, he, he. I mean, from what I know, yeah, you shouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? I take the high road. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Me personally, but it's the baby. You can't really expect him to do that. He shows <laughs> That's you nothing. What a lot everything of but that point is. And I I think I'm leaning on that point too. It's like. I'm not surprised by this guy anymore. I already know where yeah. he stands on most situations. Like, like <laughs> she know what she was getting herself into. Also, like yeah. he this is a he- one foot in, one foot out with his actual other baby mom. So it's like people know what they're getting themselves into. I'm not, you know, excusing him as long as he ain't get physical thing, with her. One thing I didn't like, like one thing about the baby though is that I guess why I can't really respect him because he be doing a lot of shit in cap. Like he tried to make it sense. He was like, oh, I wouldn't live because. Uh, you know, I didn't want her to hit. You know, I didn't want this, the narrative to be switched up on me or whatever like that. Right. But, bro, you ever heard of a court, my nigga? Like, you don't got to go live to make you know to build a case. He could have just recorded the actions, and if he ever needed the video, the, the video could video could be shown. But why did you bring it straight to live? Why did you want to like immediately go to like airing it out in front of the world? I don't know. Everybody had their phone out on that video. His brother was, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm talking about the the niche. The, I think the first one, like the very first video was um, him recording her while she's like feeding the baby, which was probably the most, the one out of all of them that looked the worst. It's like he was she literally was, she wasn't breastfeeding, was she? 
No, she wasn't breastfeeding. Oh, I say he she vicious was, bull. Yeah. But um, like, like he looked like he was harassing her while she was feeding the baby. But I'm pretty sure you know it's out of context, so I'm not gonna, you know. I think he was on. Oh, I mean, you could. I don't know, bro. I, mean, I don't know. know if he was on. You know. But he was like, I don't know. He was just kind of like get out the crib or whatever she said, and I don't know. I just feel like the like even when a lot of times even when the, the problem with the baby is that a lot of times even when he's in a right he do stupid shit that right. make you be like uh, I mean he already it's lost hard to side with him. he already lost I seen women on Twitter going at him all day <laughs> he's going, he, yeah, he's, like I was he's cool and I was on their side for the most part but you gotta look at it like you know side chicks these days is getting they getting treated good they getting treated better than the main chicks from what I understand right. now me personally Danny Lee if she that's what she wants she couldn't be my side chick. So I ain't got it. I can't do that. In her too. eyes, though, so is it is it valid to say that the side chick should know she's a side chick? Because she, she doesn't sound like she knew she was the child. Side now, chick. based off of the looks, which I, I wasn't there, but she don't look like one. If we if we're going based off of what we've known to be side chicks our whole lives, that ain't look like no <laughs> damn side chick. Like, yeah, no, exactly. So like, I can't be really mad at her. Now it was one thing if they said that and between who's the each main other. Chick? It's, I guess it's baby mother. So the movie. whole time he was messing, okay, and I did kind of hear, okay. I mean, of course he probably wanted to do it on the low, but when you when you you know famous person, you can't do shit on the low. So once so he got the world there, first public over. side chick, man, oh, she, man, she the truth, bro. The world is changing. Well, vicious. The man. baby is bringing the hood to the mainstream. He said this is some Hollywood shit. I said it's some Hollywood shit, nigga. <laughs> this ain't, like you the really you the talk about Murray bringing Murray into the situation, bro. Which is funny that he said that because that was one of our topics that we were going to touch on. Who knows if we get to it, but we wanted to talk about how the talk shows are taking the spin. And it's Murray the go of talk show, the daytime talk talk uh I mean, he's still going strong shit. He is still going strong. Everybody else is going. Everybody else is. He said Jerry, uh, he's a judge. Or Jerry, he's a judge now. <laughs> That's some creepy shit. We might as well touch on that now, man. Jerry way. had to get out the way before cancel yeah. culture came for his ass. I think that's what happened. He was like, oh, I've been selling some of the <laughs> most deplorable shit for years. And I've been on, untouched. Though. I'm going to get the hell out of here for a catch up. And he said, I'm going to judge now. I'm a man of the law. He put his man you on. Get it. <laughs> he put his man Roger on. Roger, uh, no, Steve Wilkos. Steve my man. Wilkos. That was, my liquor of, that was a side of John, though. I ain't going to hold you. That John sucked me in a little bit. Man, them, no, them cases on there, I just think we used to Yo, he SVU. used to be berating them motherfuckers that touched the kids. Man. Oh, man. I, I was watching SVU on the <laughs> regular. Like, you want to beat their ass, bro, nah. right there. <laughs> that's yeah, that's when I used to work the mischief back in the day. I used to watch that shit. I ain't going to lie. Bro, um, so, when, yeah, so Wendy Williams is um, gone. She done took a hiatus. Her man. show is apparently doing better without her. What the fuck is taking over for her? I don't know. They doing random shit. They put Nick Cannon on it. Yo, Nick Cannon can be thrown any fucking yeah, way. Yeah, I'm out. They I'm throw out. that nigga. He's literally the I'm nigga. I'm about to put my little resume in. <laughs> Dub, you gonna hit the, go hit the uh, I'll do that hot for topics? I'll do go that hit them with the hot topics, bro. I'll do that joint for a couple weeks. Oh, uh, no. I saw it. Yo, Check right. that was the only thing that got me. The only thing I got to give it to her. I ain't really like Wendy Williams. Like, she's just a cool weirdo to me, but. The hot topic segment was fire because it would be especially like in the early two thousand when you ain't have like too much of like uh, the shade room wasn't like probably that much no like bro. you had to learn everything from Wendy Williams, bro. I hate her. I hate her though. I gotta admit, I don't have no bro. love for her. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, I know y'all. I'm love not Wendy. a fan of her at all. But I'm just saying she had she did have. A, Let me a take the hate the hate word back. I don't fuck. With, yeah, I don't fuck with yeah, Wendy. but I mean, you don't fuck with her. Her, her energy, shit. her feet, the butter she had on. And all. Her, her butter shit. Yeah, I, I never seen that. Go back to what I said last week with the big feet. Yo. <laughs> Some big ass butters. Like butters is for small feet. Sorry, ladies. I, I got a couple I DMs last bro. week. I want to oh apologize so, uh, about the context of the message I said. Up, you know what I'm saying? Right. I meant to say if you were a little taller, it's more understandable. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I got six feet, women. You know. What I'm yeah, yeah I feet big. What that, that mean? Cause I understand. Somebody must have came after you. Yeah, you a couple. <laughs> I apologize a little bit, but no, um, I haven't been able to watch a talk show in yeah, forever, I bro. So I don't I even know. I'm literally talking about like only time I even got to watch it. It was like sick days, yeah, or days you didn't go to school, like you know what I'm saying. But so basically, like I'm just making a point that they're like dying out. Ellen's retiring. She been out as a weirdo. Um, <laughs> damn, what she do? 
Ellen did a oh, yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah, apparently, yeah, yeah, yeah. she I was. The last yeah, apparently she. Uh, and I still, I thought she came back to life by now. Nah, man, they said she was. She, her show was in the last canceled, season. Canceled. She canceled. Canceled. Like literally, her show is canceled. No, like me. Now, with that being said, bro, I noticed something, especially um, when light of um, the Kanye interview on Drink Champs. Mm-hmm. Have podcasts took the slot of talk shows? Is that why they're dying off like that? Because oh. the now the Kanye pulling up to a, a podcast, that's he should have been pulling up to Ellen or something like that, right? But mm-hmm. here, this is where the wave is at right now, right? No, it's the wave, definitely. Yeah, um, I'm listening to. I've been listening to podcasts for some time, quite some right. time now. But uh, yeah, it's the wave. Like I would rather listen to that. You can do that while you're at work. When you when you like watching a TV show, you can't work at the same time. <laughs> But I say, outside of that Audio though, they just ain't, I don't think it, the content it is the same. That. And it's it uh, younger same, folks though. like us. We yeah, see that we, shit we, we, it's the same. And it's shit. like <laughs> Mari Man ca- running people. Yo, remember when Murray street. used to do other shit besides the? Uh, it's all your father. You the father. Oh, the, your father. That's all he do now. Mm. But I could swear he I, once upon a still time money. It seemed like a dream. Shit. But he did used to do other topics. Then I just seen Lil Nas X's on that joint. I know it was a marketing scheme. Yeah, I seen that though. With the, yo, the, he thing wasn't messing with boy. Yo, not he, him. Get a, he know how to get a bag. He know how, yeah, he's he gonna milk this shit for twenty years. Yeah, and he don't get older. Yeah. The nigga look the same, bro. Yeah, how you do it, bro? Man? Thank you. I don't know. No, that shit crazy, man. He found the formula though. Yeah, I'm trying to find um, a formula next. One, I guess you could call it a t- talk show. This joint, this talk show is thriving, but it's also not the same because it's on live. That red table talk. Jada, I can't keep my mouth closed. Pick it. <laughs> Jada, I too much She's information. One. Sorry, Jada, but you canceled. You canceled from us. Yeah, you, what, you canceled Jada? Yeah, from the Mel, the Mel species. <laughs> she still look good, but we can't, we can't, we can't rock with her right now. Oh man, too She's much. Bringing something new to the genre. Too much what, pain and what suffering. What is her show? Is that show considered a podcast? I don't know what to call. What is like? What type of show is that? It's a, it's it's a talk show. It's right? a, uh, it's a hell breaker. I don't know. Man. So once again, Jada Pickett was also on the news. This is, you know, as we just catching up on um, on what things have been going on since you've been off air. Before you say that, I can't cancel Jada. Well, I gotta go through some um, some some great limbs for that. Great. Okay, let me ask you this: <laughs> Why why are you canceling Jada? Let's start there. That's a, that's why a, is Jada Pickett canceling? Um, wow, I don't know why to cancel her, but she 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 on the edge, bro. She on the edge. All right, she got like two, one and a half strikes. One and, and a half, half strikes. strikes. And that half. But how many know. strikes did you out? Three. I mean, how many strikes did she get for the? She had like three point uh, five. So she had, she had five August, strikes on Stina's stuff. Oh, that was too easily. <laughs> two strikes. <laughs> too easily. <laughs> then my man will like that. Seen his here's, face. The, here's my he thing. Got a, he got the sponge. No, the Mr. Crab mean now. When the John be all blurry and shit is here. Yeah. Right <laughs> you don't know which nah, way to look. I don't fuck with that. <laughs> Shout out to Jada, but no. Oh man, I just feel though? like. People being a little too hard on it, bro. If I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the opposite perspective of what you're saying. Go ahead, do your thing, man. I'm gonna drink to that. I don't really want to defend. I'm not here to defend anything that Jada Pickett done because, I mean, it is what it is. And your opinion, you're going to have when you put decide to put your your business out there. People are going to have opinions about it. But I have to say, like some of it is not as bad as people make it seem. Um, I'm down for a joke. I'm always good for a joke, um, you know, a funny ass meme or whatever like that. I'm not no stickler like that. But mm-hmm. some of the stuff out of con- like it, like I like my jokes also to be in context. Like for example, when when the shit was going down with uh, August Austina, there was a lot of funny memes around that. But then there was the other memes that were like talk about how she cheated on Will, and I was like, that's not what happened. Like right. they didn't. She didn't cheat on Will. Like I can't really get into a joke if the con- like. It's out of it's not based on reality. So like they were saying they were cheating, and I was like, no, they're not cheating. They just uh, you know, they were doing their thing. Will mm. was doing hers, his, she was doing hers, but I think where it got messy was that she decided to do it with a young boy that was a family of the friends. So it was like that was the line that she crossed, but it wasn't like <laughs> she was actually cheating on him. And then we got to hear with this this later situation, and the memes are funny. I ain't gonna hold you. Like, but you see the one with the robot. <laughs> Bro, that's the I'm robot. Mind. Oh man, we might. To, I might have to send out the A to post that up <laughs> because when was she? Uh, she a robot? She like, no, that nigga will can't fuck right. Yeah, now. man, that's <laughs> fucked up. And you talking about we can't cancel her, man? She started this shit, man. Yeah, but that's me, coach. That's Bro. not her. Like, I feel like it's funny that like that show comes on. I think I don't know how often the episode comes on, 
But you don't hear nothing about it until she say some shit about Will. <laughs> and then all hey. of a sudden, she viral. But, I mean, like I said, bro, the show, when she, if you listen to the description of the show, it's supposed to be about these uncomfortable conversations. You know what I'm saying? Basically, she's trying to shed light on some things that people may not be that comfortable to talk, and it's gonna get you, it's gonna get you ragged on Facts. because you know what I'm saying. So that's why I don't want to like press it too hard because I'm like, well, she's not like being outed. She's literally putting this shit out herself, and you know what I'm saying. So that's that's a type of bravery. So I don't want to like some of the shit. Like I don't like I said, I don't care about the jokes, but. Some of these guys, like, like, I don't know, some of these niggas' egos be bruised, and they just be wanting to take it out on any woman. I feel like, like, it be certain out of, mis- uh, like, animosity that I just feel from some of these niggas that be talking about shit, and it was like, one dude, I ain't gonna you know, put him on the spot, of course, but I saw he was like, yeah, she a trifling bitch. Like, I'm like, bro, like, yo, is that a joke, or you just going off? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's how you feel? She no, I'm playing. All right. My bad, y'all. I'm sorry, Jada. That. I'm like, bro, it's not that deep to me. I first of all, I can't get that invested about some shit that, about people that I don't know. And two, that the nigga that y'all defending don't even feel that way, bro. Will chilling, so why we don't fuck know how he feels. Calling his girl a trifling bitch, and he don't even feel bro, that way. Bro, we don't know how Will like, feel. He resilient. He from Philly, man. Right? That man, he, he apparently he down for all this shit. He ain't down for that shit, man. He ain't got no choice, man. <laughs> he don't got no choice. He on his last no strike choice. with her, shit. huh? He on his last strike with her, <laughs> wish he could. Man, <laughs> cut his ass. He ain't exempt. He do. I just feel like he does. He definitely do. And that's exactly why I'm not. That's why I'm not being hard. Because once I heard that, like this it was quiet. They both doing they shit, and they were even saying, "I ain't gonna put that out there because I don't know it's true." But it, but oh fuck it. They've been Hollywood swinging. <laughs> they were trying to say that he was even like screwing the Joe Margie Robbie as he should. Mar- Margie like, Robbie, I'm sorry. the um, Joe play Hardy Quinn. I don't know if there's any truth to that, but they did two they did movies two together, movies and they would, like look a that little close. They look real. a little cozy in some of those pictures. If you ever seen the pictures, but huh? That was his work wife. <laughs> <laughs> it was a work wife. <laughs> yeah, and they did another movie. Focus. They did another movie together. Yo, that, that, that shit That's real. It. That shit real for rich people. Listen, I don't know. Like, like yeah, work wife, and um, and I think this is actually true. But Mark Anthony and Jada Pickett had a, a thing back when they did a show back in the day, like in like 2008 called singer? Hawthorne or some shit like that. The singer? No, they did like a, they did a medical drama. Yeah, the Singer Bowl, right? Huh? The Singer Bowl, Mark Anthony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was, he's a hell of a singer. Yeah. I think it was Mark Anthony. <laughs> he a hell of a singer. Man. Yeah. But, uh, but basically, bro, that's how they get down. So why am I going to be out here calling her out her name? Like I said, I'm down for the funny ass memes. They are funny. Yeah, I, I wouldn't but go I ain't, that far. But why we got to be keep tearing down these girls? Like, bro, y'all, hey. be, y'all be too ready to. Hey, bro, that, I don't know. We get torn down every day. Let's get that straight. And that shit ain't right either, bro. Those two wrongs right. don't make it right, bro. I ain't saying it, but just don't, you know what I'm saying? I'll I be the same way. I'll be the same way when they try to do it to her. Nigga. I, don't, I don't tear nobody down on the line. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. But um, I don't want to be. I, I'm. I don't want to be up here being an ultra, ultra feminist. But I'm just keeping. I'm it too. <laughs> you you threatening. You treading that line. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I'm a feminist in my own ways, but yeah. you know. But what about uh? They got Steve too. Steve out of here too. Right? They Steve got Steve Harvey. out of here. And all them fits he been wearing this shit for nothing. Oh man, can't even go on TV no more. How you feel about this Steve as a? Because uh, he's one of those like guys always staying wild shit. Is he a coon? Is he a coon? That's how you feel? I'm asking you. Omar Johnson called him a coon. I don't know. He he is from an era. I'll say that. He's from a different era. He from an era of doing what you gotta do to get where you gotta get. And it's like that's kind of hard. Cause I know I know people, I got people, older people like that in my family. We all like, do. They just like, you know what I'm saying? They just they grew up in an era where it's like, like we have a we have a lot more rebellion than us. You know what I'm saying? It's, a, it's so Hell much yeah. that we'll take before we ready to go upside we somebody's take head. Nothing. Yeah, pretty much you don't take shit. Take like, shit at yeah, work, so it's bad. <laughs> it's a bad joint. So I, I, I can, I can understand that. But yeah, he be, he be saying so. Watch it. What you think about we say when uh, what do you say that um, men can't be friends with women? That's fucked up. <laughs> Cause I got female friends. Like damn, bro. He, right. He, he, just he, the bag he know up. how to fuck everything up. Yeah. He, fuck, <laughs> he started when he started doing that that book shit. That thing like a woman. Thing shit. like a man. Ain't nobody. Ain't no women buy that shit. Who was that for? I don't know. It was supposed to be for the women, but the it, women didn't like it. The men didn't like it. But that shit bro, sold, goddamn it. So his, I don't know. He on his the fifth. He's, his name's Steve Harvey, but he on his fifth wife. Yeah. Heard with Chris. Yo, Brown, when I found said. out he was dating Bish, Meech's wife, that's that's Who? crazy, bro. His wife is big. Meech's wife. Oh, what? Oh, what? Big Meech. Seriously? Yeah, you know that. 
His current wife. No, not Big Meech. Uh, yeah, Big Meech. Yeah, yeah. Right. His current wife is Big Meech. Uh, am I lying? Let me let me. Uh, something every day, man. Come on. I don't want to be up here lying. Got the fresh phone, man. Put that in there. Yeah. Um, that who is is Steve Harvey wife? Big Meech old wife. <laughs> <laughs> Google not fucking with you like that. Harvey <laughs> <laughs> wife. <laughs> Type that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, yeah. Damn. Yep. It's more work yeah. Yeah. She, uh, Lori Harvey is his big Meech daughter. Yeah. 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 What the fuck? <laughs> they took Harvey's name, of course. But um, and he, you know, he went to jail really early in her life. So yeah. Yeah, she's the only date bosses. I think, and then before Steve Harvey, but she was with Big Meech and she was with somebody else. And then she went with Steve Harvey. So she only they Boss nigga, so Steve Harvey must be a boss nigga. Say I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he had him too back in the day, man. Yeah, so they, they kept that glow. Yeah, they kept took his money. Fire. Took his money for. Oh, um, we breaking shit yeah, on Big Steppers season two. We breaking news. I ain't, I ain't know that, bro. <laughs> I don't even news. talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop the fucking rain, nigga. You feel me? Oh man. What would a what would a talk show be like based in Philly? A Philly talk show. Yeah. Shit. I don't know. Today, first, I, we first definitely would have to have an episode where niggas date other niggas' baby moms. That's horrible, but <laughs> there's a lot of that going on. I don't fuck with nobody baby mom. Just in case y'all was thinking, I don't think so. I have. I don't. Ha- I, I mean, I mean, we all have, but <laughs> I'm uh, I don't have any girls with kids right now. I want to break. Yeah, it it could be a sticky situation. Um, yeah, I don't, it, it could be. I mean, I've had that's good, why I would make good, good for TV, and I think you know. Also, what what else would be good? What would be a good Philly show? Oh, kids, <laughs> kids outside. Um, at night. I don't know. Like, I, I think Philly, we got the best personalities. Yeah, that's true. Like, maybe we don't have the most known, but from like the <laughs> shit, I be like, we got the best podcast niggas from Philly. That's not like, except like people that might be famous already, but. Outside of that, I think we just. I mean, we our talk show would be we, easy. We see what's going on with Gilly. Hmm? See what's going on with Gilly. Like I'm just speaking on your point. Yeah, I mean, like they. Gilly I mean, Wilder. how how however you feel about them, they top dogs. Yeah. Um, yeah, Philly talk show would be decent though. Um, we had to have some Philly rappers on there. For we sure, got, got the Boy Leaf Ward on there. His lingo is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, when he did that interview when I seen on Instagram, I was like, yeah. Like, got get the Philly comedians on there. Uh, we got we got a number of those. We got, we got a lot of those. Who's really funny though to you? Hmm. My man Funny Boy Quill, I like him. He's funny. He's funny. I What's like Tiz. Tiz. Tiz is a, Southwest Tiz is in the top building. dog. They be going in. Tiz and Top Dog got a uh, <laughs> they got a um a radio uh commercial right now. They, they be going in. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 the law joint. <laughs> yeah, top dog law. <laughs> he be work that that's dope to he be working with all those guys too. Yeah. Shout out to Top Dog. That's what's up, that's love. Yeah, we got some funny. You know, we could do some, but it would be on some loving hip hop shit. <laughs> but I don't know. All right, I'll talk show. Never got had Quilly spin through. Quilly, yeah, yeah. Quilly is good for uh, ratings. <laughs> I <laughs> wouldn't mind having him on the show. Just one time. <laughs> Nine for a full segment, thirty minutes. Speaking of Philly, um, Beans is back in the news because he just turned down fifty million supposedly from Kanye West. He ain't never. <laughs> I, if people didn't hear, just to give you guys context, um, Kanye said that he wanted to give Beans money because he was the first person to call him Yeezy, and that's the name of his brand, and uh, you know it made him a billion dollars. So he wanted to pay his respects. I think he said he got the idea from Nike, which if, if that's a true story, that's dope. Apparently the lady who did the Nike swoosh, uh, Nike, the guy who started it, went back and took care of her. Because I always thought about that, right? Like when we like, uh, like when I think about even with us, like if we buy... Uh, if we uh get somebody or grab somebody give us a graphic and then we make fifty mil, like and we already give them fifty dollars for the graphic. <laughs> like we got like but so but I would be I would be I think I would do that. You know what I'm saying? I think especially if if the image holds value. Like if, if it's it's just if it's like us yeah. and, and nobody really gives a fuck about the image, then not I know. But if it's but if it's like the image is like a part of the thing, mm-hmm. then of course you gotta take care of it, especially if it's like on merch and shit. Yeah. But anyway. Not to ramble, but Beans, he 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 
he claims he gave it up. First of all, do you believe him or is that cat? <laughs> beans is fucking fooling. I love beans, bro. <laughs> but he's fooling. So you think because I was thinking this, it's kind of like all of a sudden hitting the lottery. And like you won't like what I always say, if I ever won a lottery, I ain't telling a bunch of motherfuckers I got I went fifty million dollars a week on the no. You ain't it's gonna just know. The way he went about so it. I feel like he probably was like, Yeah, I appreciate it, but why the fuck did you have to say that on a world stage? And uh, like I, that's how I would handle it. I don't know. You tell me, cause he told myself, Oh, I, I work for mine and I just needed love. Nigga, please. What the fuck? Man, <laughs> you need money just like the rest of us. Bro. Give me that fifty mil. Oh man. I, so you think it's cap? I think it's all okay. cap. Something gotta be going on. He gotta be getting some. Like, don't tell me you reached out to him and he he folded on you. I don't think Kanye that type of person. First of all, if he didn't want the money, how the fuck does nigga? Reach how do you so not fast? want the money? <laughs> how do you not want the? But my point is, he said it Friday. This nigga was in the same room with him by Monday. <laughs> like, if you if you wasn't worrying about it, I, I feel like y'all. I don't know. We'll see. I mean. It is what it is, but he's maybe he'll put him on a Yeezy team. Maybe that's what he meant. He wanted to, uh, cause I was thinking like, you know how they, he he used the metaphor. I think actually, uh, teach a man a fish. But I'm like, bro, how fast are you going to make fifty million? No matter, you can fish all day, my nigga. That's gonna take a long time. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, so I, I'm just I'm trying to figure it out, but uh, I don't. I really need that fifty mil up front. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm flip that shit times three at least. Bro, I don't know what beans talking about. That's what I'm about. saying. I'm I like, love you, you beans, could, but you That tripping. same ethic could have went into the like nobody said get the fifty mil and then lay on your head. Like you could have did that same after you talking about with the fifty mil. Like go, don't you have businesses that you could put money into and, and endeavors or whatever they say? You know, like uh, I'm taking one mil and doing something special with it. Yeah. yeah. What's the first thing you think? What's the first investment if you get a million dollars for Kanye? Me? Yeah. The podcast. The podcast. Oh, so you want to build it in us? That's, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what's up. Studio. I'm going to stir that answer because that was unselfish. Yeah, big ass studio. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. That's my shit. Yeah, that's what, yeah, exactly. that's what we do. Exactly. Exactly. That's what we do. Shout out to Beans, but he fooling. Yeah, he, uh, he tripping. If he, and if he ain't lying, then what you think? If he ain't lying. If he ain't lying, then he frying. <laughs> they said Beans lost his Beans. <laughs> he did, though. He did. He getting him back, but he's still on some bullshit. Yeah, Shout out to Beans. I love to have him up too. And what we uh we got some Philly sports in the building. Um, you want to talk some Philly sports real quick? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, a little bit. Uh, and all the women had just clicked off. But I'm sorry, ladies. <laughs> I'm sorry. But no, man, we gotta talk about this boy Ben Simmons. I've been I've been wanting to speak on. It. Oh man, what about Astro World? We can touch on that later. Touch we on that another time. On oh my God, yeah, we get on that though. Huh? Yeah, we got we on sports now. We gotta get uh, right, 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 right. No, nah, yeah. Even though that's a touchy subject, but we gonna uh, what you gotta say about Ben Simmons, man? And um what is you what it what it, I wanna hear your opinion on the whole I need my mental space and y'all making it hard for me situation. <laughs> I believe in the whole mental aspect, the whole mental health aspect. Um we all have our struggles. Mm-hmm. But it's the way he going about it. Like you're talking about money, and you're putting money and mental health in the same space. Like you're a broke person. Now, for me to say I'm going through it because I'm not getting no money because I got fired from my job, man, that would be like detrimental. That'd be real. But for somebody that makes three hundred and sixty thousand dollars a game, like okay, but you're bringing this shit on yourself. Like I don't have nothing. Like I don't. I don't know the man personally. But this shit is just overdrawn. Like we're both, it's, it's, it's errors on both ends. Mm-hmm. It's errors on the team's end, and it's errors on his end. Like the I error guess on we, the team end is they ain't get rid of this nigga. That too. That's the biggest error, bro. But we also what's up with this man. I don't know. They're but we, more you tripping, bro. We also should have never. Uh, we should have traded him when we had the chance. We should have traded him when we had the chance. We point could, could trade him for nickels at this point. I mean, the team is playing good. I just feel like. If we just like had somebody of worth also on that team that's not taking up thirty million, we'd be solid, man. You be saying it all the time. Like that's just that's just the that's just the main problem. And it's like every time, like I knew that. What you think that that I knew that Jalen Brown trade was gonna happen. Yeah, Boston ain't because here's like the that. thing: people wasn't paying attention to the fact that Boston called to a, to to um get Ben Simmons. They didn't call to unload Jalen Brown. Who the fuck they thought they was giving us though? Marcus Smart and the pick. 
<laughs> like, that's the only thing well, I don't yo, understand. But would you not take that right now? Fuck no, man. Why not? Just this motherfucker stay at home. I'll take anything for this dude right you now. You taking bro. Marcus Smart in the pick, man? I don't even care. Bro, I don't even care no more. That's why, man. I get what you're saying, but I don't even care at this point, bro. bro. I'll take that shit. Yeah, man. Bro, all right, so you tell me Marcus Smart is is not better than a nigga sitting at home on the couch? We are losing. We just lost three in a row. Because we don't have Embiid. Facts. <laughs> no, I mean, that's, we was, that's we was number facts. one before Embiid went out. I, I definitely hear what y'all saying, but I'm just bro. saying, how long we go? This motherfucker talk about some four. This could take four years. Going, y'all rather have four years of this bullshit that's than cap. have that's Marcus cap. Smart. Come, I know it's cap. I know it's cap. You know what I mean, though. I'm mean, my point is that he's really acting like he's not going to budge. Oh, the, the, the Kings might do something, bro. It can be anybody, bro. My point is that he's really acting like he's not sliding unless he get a superstar. And if you're you're a fucking idiot, we're not saying the superstar, but uh, no, that's no, that's what he want. Oh, uh, our star. I'm. I'm not trading for no exactly. It's not just about this season. But that I'm pretty, but y'all know what I'm but y'all also gotta realize that that's what everybody else is thinking. Well, we don't want to trade for uh, trade a super all-star for Ben Simmons and then he lay another fucking egg in the playoffs. He's gonna and lay then he an gonna egg look like an idiot who traded for Ben Simmons who who laid eggs in playoffs. He's gonna lay an egg regardless. <laughs> Shout out to Ben Simmons. <laughs> that's why I said trade him for a bag of chips. No, we ain't doing Because he's gonna lay an egg regardless. Too much money, too much no, right. bro. I oh. give I definitely understand. I'm just at the point I'm at my wits end with this motherfucker, bro. I just want to off my team. Want to rumble him? I want to mix you. I definitely want to mix you. Yeah. Ben Simmons, Jay the Bull want to mix you. <laughs> All right. No, chill, because Nia ain't watched this joint, and he might tell him. He's like, no, I ain't scared of Ben Simmons. I watched it. Nia ain't getting fucking with Ben. No. <laughs> yeah, Nia ain't probably going to help me. Yeah. He probably want to <laughs> mix him himself. <laughs> he said they never met. <laughs> they never what? He said they never met. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's bad, though. Ben Simmons, man, get your shit together. Um, He's out of here, though, real soon. It's going to happen. Um and B, please. And B, stay in the house. Can't say. <laughs> stay in the house. It's like this motherfucker can't stay healthy for nothing. Of course, you caught COVID. I'm surprised he didn't catch the shit three times. This nigga got excuse for everything. Damn. He that motherfucker that always got a note for something. Is this bro. The second time. This nigga got no immune system. He got glass bones. <laughs> I'm over this bull, bro. <laughs> Damn, man. What part of Africa he from? I don't... Exactly. That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> Shout out. Fragile ass nigga, bro. Africans. I'm so over this bull, bro. But he's my dude, though. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm just frustrated because, like you said, we was the number one and then he went down. And that shit. And we know that last game, we definitely would have won if he was in that draw. Oh, man. So, that's a hard score to tell, bro. All right. So, uh, Eagles. Eagles. Oh, that Sunday when was it was it was bittersweet. Why was it? <laughs> but because we need them to lose. Why we was ain't it doing sweet? shit? Exactly. That's what I said. Well, why was it sweet? Because like, I even and, and one sense I'm like, yeah, Smith, yeah. And the other yeah. sense I'm like, Yo, no, that was nice to see win? that. I, I'm really happy that he's uh, working out. Then I have doubt in him. Yeah, I'm man. Kind of crazy. I told you he was a problem, bro. Yeah, That's baby I, I Marvin. Yeah, I don't know. I thought he was, I thought he was gonna be another fragile ass wide receiver. He bro. ain't scared, bro. It's a difference, bro. Deshaun Jackson. Oh, shout out to Deshaun. It's heyday. <laughs> he was scary. Like yeah. he he was nice. But he ain't one get hit. Smith yeah. be out there catching that shit. Like he mossed a nigga yesterday. Right. I ain't never seen Deshaun moss a nigga. No, nah. no, nah, Deshaun only catch shit to his stomach. Yeah, he got <laughs> like, big hands, he's just fast. <laughs> right, he is. He he can't, I never him. saw him go up for legend. anything for real. For uh, real. Smith, shout out to Smith, bro. Him yeah. and Jalen Hurts can be good in the future. Jalen Hurts had his good game, besides that one interception, but that shit was null and void. So, I don't know. Eagles, uh, lose. We need y'all to lose. We need a good pick. I don't know why y'all going here, going out here, playing y'all hearts out and shit. I love y'all. Y'all drawing. They draw. They drawing. I don't know who we getting in the draft, but we got to get something good. I, think, I don't even I, know who's playing I think in college right now. At this point, though, don't you think um, Nick Sirianni got to win some games for his job? Or, or bro, he ain't getting fired his first year. We don't do no shit. Not the Eagles. Yeah, we don't do that. We don't do no shit like that. Chip Kelly, that was different. He was a bum. I mean, Chip He's, Kelly got more than a year. So Chip Kelly fucked shit. everything up. You know, somebody. <laughs> see, this, I'm trying to get this kid up here, man. He had my job. For real? He told me. Um, uh oh. But he, he no, he's scared. He has terrible takes, and he know it. Oh, <laughs> he said that uh, Chip Kelly wasn't that bad. Chip Kelly was horrible. You don't even got to be a football fan to say Chip <laughs> oh Kelly was horrible. God. If you if you're a football fan, you probably laughing your ass off right now. I mean, even if you're not, like you said, you should just know he got rid of everybody, bro. He ruined their team. He ruined Philly. I don't, who ruined the team worse? Uh, Chip Kelly at the um, Chip his first year or Doug Peterson at the Chip. Super Bowl one? Chip, bro. I don't Chip, know. Chip got rid of everything. He got rid of like, Shady. 
Like Shady but was the Doug guy. actually got rid of niggas that won their Doug got the a Super Bowl. Super Bowl though. Well, I don't want to say he got rid of them because they ain't really like get rid of anybody. They let they let a lot of niggas walk. I mean, yeah, that was weird, bro. Like you win a you got a Super Bowl team and you let motherfuckers just walk. Like I don't get it, bro. Dougie P is a legend. Well, just for that, him and Frank White that went to uh, Indianapolis. Like shit, it's, it's crazy how them two teams just keep swapping people. This shit buzzing, <laughs> man. You on live? Huh? You on live? No, I ain't on live. All right, shit I'm buzzing. Who do that live CME? shit? CME? Say no. Get it in. <laughs> Got it. big old phone. Niggas is like in the... No, I... What phone um, is that? I uh, put the set up. Niggas is like in the set. That's all. What phone is that? Galaxy what? what? It's a Galaxy. When you coming to the dark side? You had two opportunities. We need, a, we need an iPhone episode so I can tell about why all the evils on the iPhone. I'm not a motherfucker trying to make it sound like Travis Scott's the evil. That's me talking about the iPhone. This building. The iPhone is evil. Everybody got an iPhone. That's why it's evil. Why you won't come to the dark side? I be I was t- I was this close, bro. I've been telling I was this you, I, close. I, I the last time I had I had an iPhone before though. I had a long time ago. I don't bro. count, man. So it's a lot of new shit going on. Yeah, I know. It's a lot I of just, new shit going on. I, they the devil, bro. Bro, you sound crazy. <laughs> I know. Well, do the motherfuckers say Trevor Scott is the devil sound crazy? Huh? Do the motherfuckers say Trevor Scott is the devil sound crazy? <laughs> I'll say so. Uh, Travis Scott is uh, uh oh, come on, let's touch on it, man. Because you, you obviously got a lot. To I shit told to you say. I had a lot to say about. Let's this get shit. it. I'm tired of motherfuckers uh, hanging that double shit all over a successful black man. It's only us. It's only us. It's Think Courtney. so? Yeah. You sure. For the most part. Cause it's like it's like it's almost like it's almost like they want you to think that you can if you're black and successful in that in that industry you got to be worshiping the devil. Like it, it's not our talent. It's not our our you know. Is it a lie? If what a lie? Was what a lie exactly? Take that outside. <laughs> he said something. <laughs> yeah, he said he's distracting them. You on your Kanye shit? Can you not do that again? <laughs> did you watch? Oh, before we go any further, did you, did you watch the second half of the interview? I, did, I watched um, a good a With good Larry Hoover Sr. Junior. Yeah, yo, that shit was awkward. I was fucking watching. Uh, I'm sorry, I just gotta say this. No, go ahead. The part when he was talking and he started, he's like, get lifted. Yeah. <laughs> I watched that shit a hundred times. Like, like he really just came out of nowhere and said that shit. That's how I know Kanye shot the fuck out. Yeah, he is, bro. Said, we said we ended the, the, the last part saying that he's just yo. he's he's tweaking, bro. He once again Kanye is out there tweaking. Hopefully <laughs> we don't get nothing. No, he'll go back in the house because every once in a while he come out tweaking, but then he go back in the house. I fuck so, with him, huh? Yo, no, it was the same, bro. It was not the same thing on that drawing. Bro, I couldn't understand. Bro, every time he kept bringing up Disney and and Kobe, and I couldn't tie it. Like, <laughs> kept bringing shit, kept bringing shit up. I couldn't tie it together, bro. It was. I mean, he definitely been on the wag off the wagon a lot worse. I was impressed by how normal, like he was, like he he yeah, he never yell, he ain't never spaz or you know or really go crazy. So he was like that. But also, also it's kind of hard to follow his train of thought sometimes. I'll be like, what the fuck is this nigga talking about? It's like, <laughs> yeah, and he was he was on her head. He was on the, uh, my man was talking about. He's talking about the white pub, uh, the white uh, Kim Kardashian publicist. He was on her top. I don't know what that's about, <laughs> but he was on her. He had he had smoke for her, smoke for Big Sean. <laughs> Smoke for uh <laughs> Talib deserved Talib. it. <laughs> Talib, Talib deserved it. it. Well, Talib deserved it. <laughs> Cuz man, he, everything he said was true. Oh man, but he said that wasn't true. I, how many people you think he hurt with the um? I was never a backpacker line. He said he was never a backpacker. Was he really? But it makes one thing. The reason I was a lot uh, ang- mad about it was because it's, it, it makes more sense. Kanye never being a backpacker makes more sense because he don't think like them niggas. He had to play his lane. Exactly. He said, he said, I basically I was a dude who liked street shit, but I never killed anybody. So I went the backpack lane. So I was like, I, especially back then, see the thing is about like early hip, like especially that era, you did have to play into stuff. Yeah, you had to play into your persona and whatever a little harder. Now, you know, with social media, you can pretty much be whoever you you know, wherever you want to perceive. Because just like I tried to say, like, 
like just like people always say, oh, I miss the old Kanye. Bro, that's just Kanye before Twitter. Kanye was always like this. There's no, there's no old Kanye. It's just Kanye before Twitter. Like, <laughs> yeah. we didn't get, like, that's the thing. We're so overexposed. That's why another reason why people's perception of celebrities has kind of been, like, changed because we only used to get so much of them. You know, whatever we was able to allow to see was, like, a program, uh, a program. And now we get to see them on a daily Everything. basis every day. So uh, celebrities are not as likable as they used to be. Like, and that's why I was like, everybody was like with Brian, oh, he don't live up to the same fandom as a Jordan. Well, that's because the only thing back then, Jordan, it was everything was about him. It would be the same thing if you didn't see people on Twitter bashing Brian every day. You know what I'm saying? But it's probably was, it was plenty of Jordan haters. There was plenty of people saying Jordan wasn't the GOAT. But because the media portrayed him as the GOAT, just like they do with Brian, but you we get to hear other people's opinions now. So, you know, things have changed. And so that's why I try not to hold so this whole thing with the cancel is like you can't really hold people art with who they are no more because we not gonna not gonna really find that no more. You know what I'm are saying? Are they are they trying to cancel Travis right now? I think they are trying to cancel. Well, see, and that's another thing. I don't really think there's a such thing as cancel culture. By the way, we already no, talked we, about yeah, this. Yeah, definitely on. Uh, we about already. It. I don't. Dude, what cancel culture is? All this is like just putting a word on if you're not profitable. Meaning, like if you do something and you become a stain and they feel like you're not gonna be able to meet their profit margin, you're gone. That's always been a thing. That's right. not new. So everybody's like, oh, cancel culture. Bro, what y'all think happened to Janet Jackson back in the soup? That was before we was calling it cancel culture, but that was the same thing. She showed her titty, and then nobody wanted to touch her. She couldn't be on nothing, you know. So that was the, that was canceled, right? So oh, we, talking we just about who? Janet, Janet Jackson. Jackson. Went on so nobody me. wanted to touch her. Like, <laughs> <laughs> where you hear that, bro? <laughs> where you hear that? Yo, you, I'm talking I was about. A young, I was a young boy. Right? Cool, I'm talking cool. about the brand that once she said she was. I think her. You know, she got pulled from a couple of things. Yeah, you yeah. know, it took her a little minute to get back on her on her. Cool. You know, and back in the spotlight because of that situation. So my point is just saying that that was just cancel culture before we had a name for it. It's no such thing as cancel culture. You just no, nobody ever really gets canceled. Car- R. Kelly still ain't canceled. As long as you can still make a dollar, you're not canceled. Like every like like people try to relate. I think they try to say Christian Michelle was canceled. The girl who performed for Trump, Christian Michelle, yeah. maybe at music. Bro, who the fuck was checking for Christian Michelle? <laughs> <laughs> That's why she performed for Trump in the first place. She needed a bag. Hell, like so, uh, don't, don't try to blame cancel culture on you being uh, canceled. Voice. With Christian Michelle, you wasn't doing shit before you performed for Trump. So don't like. That's what I'm saying. Like people just be blowing that shit out the the water. But anyway, um. It's a lot of people to blame for that, that Asher Ward situation. Um, it's funny how everybody's blaming the one 26-year-old on stage, but I just want to know who was standing on the young boy head. Why are we not talking about the boy who was standing on the young boy head? I've heard we talked about Travis up, down, each way, and yeah, we're also kind of talking about the venue, but what happens to, because I swear, yo, every time something crazy is a bunch of niggas, they be like, niggas is always wilding. Right? That's the first thing you you hear when where something go crazy when it's a bunch of black people around. Well, why was they wild and why can't black people come together and act right? So it's funny to me that a predominantly crowd of a certain type of people, nobody talk about the responsibility of that crowd and not standing on a fucking nine year old because I know what it feels like to uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying yeah. this, with the ground feel like. So if I'm standing on people, you know what I'm saying. So I want to know who was. Well, nobody's talking about who was standing on people. And I know it ain't no realistic way of finding out who that people is, but I just feel like um, crowd courtesy is a, is a thing, and we're, it's just like it's not a, a lot. No light being shined on that shined on that part. It's just like oh, Travis caught inside it, and then it's like it's typical shit that happened, bro. It's like it was overcrowded. Like you don't. That's why you don't overcrowd a venue, and that's why I put the more to blame on Live Nation for overselling the event. For um, understaffing the event and letting people bro- like they they let like a whole bunch of people break into that joint. Well, they didn't let them. They couldn't stop them. Should Travis had have uh, stopped singing when he seen the guy passed out or the girl passed yes, out? Yes, he should have. But I understand why he didn't. And you know why he didn't? Because literally that shit happens at all his shows. You gotta understand mm-hmm. with his perception. What his what is his perception? Of what's going on? The ever the everyday chaos that happened at my shows. People passing <laughs> out. People um, you know being carried the fuck off. The show must go on. 
And I'm not saying he's right for thinking that way, but I'm just saying if you're being programmed the way you're performing, that's what you that's what you've been taught. And he's been doing this shit since he was a, literally a kid, bro. I don't know if you know, but Travis Scott been in the industry since he was like 17. So his perception of things is way different than from where how we grew up. You know, so his so his whole thing is that the show must go on. I got this nigga Drake in the back. He done flew all the way out to Houston. We not about to stop this show because a couple of kids have passed out and not died. I don't think he anybody who thinks he knew that kids died is like, yo, that's crazy to me. Like, I don't think he knew anybody died or were going to die. Very crazy. Maybe he's naive for not allowing that thought process to hit his head. Like, maybe somebody's in real danger here. But like I said, um, you know, he made a mistake. I don't definitely, I'm not saying he's not hold no accountability. You please get that straight too. He has his own accountabilities. But to be blaming this man for eight bodies on his own when a venue was clearly ne- negligent, I'm not with that. And um, sorry I took over there, but I had oh, a rant about that shit real you quick. You good, bro. I mean, <laughs> you, you obviously wanted to talk about that for a minute. Yeah. Um, I, I pretty much feel the same, man. Um. I, I I don't I don't have that much experience with big ass shows like that, mm-hmm. so I never really been in those like I can't I don't do well with those type of crowds. You know what? You know what is the closest thing I've been to that like? Have you ever been to a show um, by the pier, um, by um, Columbus Boulevard? What? Uh, where's the what's the venue? Um, I think it's the Waterfront Pier. You I know never what I'm been to about one of them live shows. Like you, uh, you can look down. I mean, At, the steps is going up. No, no, no. Not it's not. It's like it's kind of like a big ass parking lot. Right by Columbus Boulevard is um a gas station across the street. It's um, what what station is that? I guess I've never been there. Second Street. Oh, uh, they always. Do you ever been to the Roost Picnic? Is the Roost Picnic is always there? Shit, we oh, we supposed to go to the Roost Picnic in what nineteen, bro? Oh, he, uh, he uh, twenty. Always, Whenever the pandemic started. So, the but I don't think they there anymore. They might have moved. Where was it at that time? I think they moved to Fairmount Park. But they, the remember. Roost Picnic used to always be there. That was gonna be my first anyway, drum. It's kind of like a little. It's a. It, I want to say it's a big ass parking lot, but it's actually kind of small. And they always oversell that shit. I've been there. I used to work it. I mean, I used to do concerts. I used to work right. at concert um, uh, concession stands, and I um, I did a couple concerts. I think a Snoop Dogg, Ash and Raw concert there. And they used to always be overcrowded. And then actually attended a concert a concert there. I think it was Tyler. Tyler created a concert. And um, bro, they put way too many motherfuckers in that drum, bro. You was like bumper to bumper. Um, a crazy story uh, actually led mm-hmm. to something. Well, I ain't gonna get into that right now. That's a story for another sure? pod. No. Nah, I'm sure? I don't know if I'm ready to talk about that. <laughs> but, sure? um, later. But but I could we're we're just talking about overcrowding right now, so um, it was just mad overcrowded, man. People up against each other and shit, and I wasn't feeling that. But if it's anything like that, I could definitely how um, in Houston, how that would be way worse. Or how hot it is out there in the fucking desert. So uh, anyway, you been to Houston before? No, I never been. But it's I how plan, it's out there. I plan, I plan to get out there. <laughs> but um, RIP to those to those people. Um, and uh, yeah. <laughs> RIP, RIP to the, 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 the now, no, it's not seriously, but RIP, no, no, that's, definitely that's man. unfortunate. Uh, definitely that, that happened, sure. And um, I just wish people knew better on the you know overcrowding or not, not to uh, Crazy trample over people Crazy to, to 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 see somebody perform. Like that's just it's not that deep, bro. It's going to be in the live. <laughs> it was over there in the live. Yeah, bro. I mean, it's so much shit going on, man. Um, what, what you been listening to? Uh, I ain't. None? Oh, Silk Sonic. Silk Sonic. Yeah. That uh, also, I'm still listening. She got to, me feeling like an OG, man. I'm still listening to Meek album. Yeah. I'm still, yeah. still listening. Yeah. To, uh, Last night was the first night I listened to that Jones since we recorded that night. Are you kidding me? Yeah, no bullshit. Sorry, Meek. All right, whatever, bro. Love you, big dog, but no. They in it? What you uh, like about it? I just don't care for it. Like, I can't really... You can sit down and vibe to that joint. You know, like I don't, it's not for it's me. It's not. Oh, you don't. You definitely don't sit down and vibe to it. You ride around, and listen to it, or work out, swing your dress, listen to it. And shit. Yeah, all that. All right, cool. You got. Yeah, you definitely got to get How a, you a feel different about it? moment. I can't say that I have given it a second listen. I've spent it once. I feel better now because uh, uh, somebody commented, "Expensive pain, expensive pain, nothing, man, nothing." <laughs> That's an expensive pain. Expensive trash. <laughs> All right, that was bad. I'm sorry, sorry, Meek. They're going to get me. What a bad, what a terrible take. Sorry, no, let me say. <laughs> no, man. I'm about to I, stop I, I feel me. like as a fan, like, I, I always, 
I'm, I'm first of all, I'm a Meek fan. CLB is and, over uh, that drum. CLB. Sorry, no, let me stop. I like CLB too, but I'm a Meek fan. It's coming from a brown skin brother. I um I relate to Meek shit more. Like, especially with the shit he be talking, the grind that shit he be talking, uh, the fast, the fast pace going, like the energy. Like, I like the energy shit. Like, that's why I I think I attracted that shit more. Like, I, I ain't gonna hold you to the CLB tried to almost put me to sleep, especially because it came out so late. I'm like, that shit, uh, nah, man. I feel like Drake be serving us some mid, bro. Like, I only like a couple of songs. Y'all force sexy, um, y'all force sexy onto the radio. Sexy, that's the name of the song? I don't, what the fuck is that name, bro? Sexy Too Sexy. That shit is, like, that shit is mid, bro, but of course y'all gonna hype it because it's Drake. Come on, don't be like that, man. But it is what it is. I do like um champagne poetry. He killed that, that. That was, that was, that joint crazy. That was the work of art. Two, uh, two, TSU is a, is a dope ass record. But um, I mean, I, the thing is though, I'm not really trying to put, pin the two albums against each other because they're definitely two different albums. I'm just saying, Meek is more my speed. They competitors, like it, we're always going to be, because that beef was so legendary. It's always going to be competitive. They was always going to be like I compare better, LeBron and Melo and shit back in the day. Yeah, I think it's, it's exactly like Brown and Melo. I do too. Melo could never <laughs> keep up. I do too. <laughs> Melo, Melo never really. That, like when did he ever really compete with Brown for yeah, real? For a couple real. good Jones, right? A couple New York seasons. Eh, never mind. Nah, them, them, never mind. <laughs> he had yeah, that was his best for numbers. Said no. That was his best season for numbers. I feel like I feel like that's where Meek is at right now. Meek is at Camelo's New York years. He's putting up good rounds, but the numbers ain't there. Like, cause I think it's just like, like I said, it's a certain type of vibe. I think cause like, people were definitely was fucking with it. I definitely heard a lot of people fucking with it. I'm not on. Um, I went to the Master Square drawing. The drawing was lit, sold out. Yeah, that shit, was, that shit was lit. I wish I would have been there. Yeah, no, you don't. You don't even like that. You just took all this shit. You don't wish you was there. Don't the, 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 yo, the, fuck out of here, bro. The, con- <laughs> the concert wasn't for the album. Whatever. <laughs> Chill. What is that? It say stink, stink. What that be? Huh? What that mean? I don't know. Uh-oh. <laughs> you hear this bull? What? This, man, we can out of here, man. Talking about what that mean. I don't know what that you know what stank mean? I know what stank mean, but I don't know what she Stank, means. stank. Or whatever. Stank, stank. I'm not in, man. What nickname y'all? What, what, what's your nickname at home, man? It ain't Jay the Bull. My nickname at home is Jay. It's Jay. Oh, so it's like a nickname. J Baby, Baby J. Like. I, I know I know that nickname stank, stank. So uh, you, you stank, stank? That's who you are at home? Huh? That's who you are at, at home? home? I'm a dove. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a motherfucking dove. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Oh man, no, but um, I would have, I would have loved to be at Madison Square Garden, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying I don't like Meek. I just don't fuck with this album. Like, it's just not it. And you act like he you played the you album. spent it one time. He, he, he act like we talk like Meek performed the album the whole time, huh? You act like Meek performed that album the whole time at, at the concert. A couple songs that came out, with it, you know what I'm saying? No, no, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't perform. And I was actually disappointed by that. He didn't. He didn't do enough of the new shit that he asked me. I wanted to hear more of the new shit. <laughs> I don't know. I've been I've been vibing to the album for a minute. It's just I, mean, I guess that's me. I've been fucking with it, especially Cold Hearted Cold Hearted Three. How you not found that? Man, so I go back to Cold Hearted Two, man. Man, you you sound like a hater, bro. Ships, bro. Well, I guess I sound like a hater. You gotta do something if with you that. You sound cup. like a hater. If you if this if I sound like you talking about CLB, then I guess I sound like yeah, a hater. Even, even well. shit. <laughs> What's the best album uh, of the year to you so far? Did you, huh? you figure out a, uh, the best. Oh, the album best album of the year is Tyler Creator's hand down. Uh, Meek ain't with, Meek, Meek is not fucking with that album. Nobody's fucking with that album. CLB. I wish. Ooh, I wish. Ooh, I wish somebody say CLB better than uh, Tyler's album. Where do you at? Where do you? At? <laughs> Bro, ain't nobody. I'm trying. To, my followers ain't listening to that drum. No, I know a lot. Yo, I was just put my man. So everybody put onto the album instantly like it once they listen to it. Who, but Tyler? it's getting people. Yeah, it's getting people to listen to it though. You fuck with Tyler, Manny? The, the new album, it's not better than CLB. Oh, uh, okay. Or you're not even a Tyler's fan, right? Oh, okay. He liked Tyler. Yeah. What was the last album again? Igor. Igor is that. I don't know if I like it better, but I do fuck with Igor. It took me. You know why? It took me a while. It, I didn't listen to Igor for like almost a year before I listened to it. Yeah, but you could do that with a lot of with Tyler albums, and that's why I fuck with them, bro. 
That's good. You know my problem with Drake about this CLB? I'm gonna, and I'm going to get off of it because I really don't. Right, man, I've been late with a Drake hater for so long, but I feel like I'm the only one of the niggas that is willing to talk the truth about this nigga. Go ahead, man. Do your thing. How does nigga go on a whole year press run for this CLB shit? Put a little uh, heart in his hair and all that. Do a whole promo run to give us the same type of music. That's not that's unheard of, bro. You, you yes, she agree with that. You you you, you agree. This album does sound similar. It's similar, and it's like, bro, everybody. He tried to do a Tyler move, which is like Tyler would usually. Well, I ain't going to hold this to Tyler. There's a lot of artists that do this. I'm just, Tyler's in my mind right now. But usually when you have an album and it's a theme, you do certain things to get people hyped up for it. Like Tyler, when he was about to drop the joint, he started wearing a little Russian hat, start cramming a briefcase everywhere. You know, it's just to play into the character, play into the mood of the album. So I ain't going to hold you. So when Drake started doing that shit, you see the you know see the goofy-ass album cover, you see the goofy-ass <laughs> heart in his head, and you're like, okay, he's about to fuck with some ball. new goofy shit. You don't like, fuck no, with ball. You know, everything is goofy. You don't fuck with ball. Is it not a goofy ass heart? Bro, is you, it not a goofy ass heart? Bro, you is it not a goofy ass heart? Is what? it not a goofy ass album cover? Ain't fucking with it. Who putting a heart in your head, bro? You gonna put a heart in your head? Hey, yo, who over there? Y'all putting a heart in the head? Y'all head? Who doing that shit? And I'll be like, <laughs> yo, Drake be doing shit thinking it's gonna catch on, bro. It's it so funny. We ain't doing it. KR Cyrus. <laughs> okay, Cyrus is the bro, only nigga to fuck. I promise you, there's at least a million niggas out there with a heart in their head right oh, now. Oh man. That's I promise you. Drawing. When Meek do shit, niggas do niggas it. Was, niggas was wearing yellow hair like Remember Liz. when Meek started wearing Pumas? Everybody started wearing Pumas. No, he didn't. Niggas, when I, Meek, was wearing, when Pumas, was, uh, I was wearing Pumas before Meek. Oh, every, well, nigga, well, Philly, well, you know what I mean. But you I, know what I mean. I, he put, when he, he put started, shit on. When he wore him, I stopped. He put shit on. <laughs> <laughs> he put shit on, though. Like, all right, what about the, uh, the chick? Man, I ain't going to get into all that. But the point <laughs> is, yo, point is... He did all this promo run and the billboards to give us the same type of Drake music we've been getting all this time, bro. That's not how you do a, um, a successful. Bro, I'm not even gonna argue with you. I'm not. I'm not gonna argue with you on that. But I ain't gonna argue. That's, I would say true. this: it's some shit on there. I, I just like, don't. I like, wish. I just don't like expensive pain. I'm sorry. I'm not saying I, Drake hot album is the hottest. But you know what's crazy? I listened to CLB at least over ten times before I say what I'm saying now. You told me you just listened to it yesterday and it's trash. And the, All right, bro. We're going to leave it there. And I still leave it right listen there. to Champagne Poetry over any song on that album. That, that's, you know what's crazy? I, I hate that you said that because you know that's the only song that's undeniable fire. And that's all I, that's all I need. <laughs> Point. Champagne poetry Ding. is undeniable Point for fire, love. and I was, and it was, it sucked that it's the first song because I, I, my, I was high I when that first, you, when I that, bro, you, when that I sample drop, I was like, oh, this album about to be the shit, and then, then I thought I was listening to the Division album. You listen to the Division? I fucks with the Division. <laughs> Manny put me on the Division. Yo, yeah. the first five tracks sound like a Division album. Man, it is what it is. Jersey the goat. I would never say he not the goat because he just got the these. The numbers, the numbers the speak what? for themselves. The goat. He not the goat right now. The like right now, today, today, today is goat. Today he's the best. He's the, well, he's the, he's the he's the king of rap right now. I guess king of music. <laughs> king of music. <laughs> Shit. Bottom line. Uh, his name it ain't one. I wouldn't even go there, you know what I'm saying? I just shout out to Meek. I I don't reach Wait for my, the deluxe Meek. I don't reach my limit on bashing Drake the baby. Who's next? Know. Who's I next? Know. I feel like yeah. I've been. I yeah. just want to. Yeah. I just don't want to be written off. You know, we written off. We not getting written off. Yeah. Last week, I'm not trying to bash these guys. It's just I'm just trying to I don't speak know my about opinion. Him. He the man though, for the youngins. The opportunity. You know what I'm saying? They got me last week. They, the Africans came at me too. <laughs> the Africans. Came you should have went there with no man. You should have went there with no Africans, bro. I ain't come at them. It's like, no, they ain't come at me. They oh, show. They ain't say nothing. They ain't say nothing, man. They gonna get me, man. <laughs> Somebody gonna tune in. They gonna be like this motherfucker. I'm just speaking from experience, though. Never. That is a good ass shirt. Yo, that's the a knuckle ooh, sounds. Ooh. He said, "I heard nothing but knuckles." Yo, I it can't, is. Bro. <laughs> I can't. You never see how long we been on it. Not, not long. An hour and some change. We got we got time to hit some more subjects. Yeah, let's, let's let's do a little. What you doing for the holidays? What holidays? Well, got Thanksgiving coming up. Thanksgiving, I have no idea. Thanksgiving ain't the same no more. Yeah, people don't seem to be that much of the spirit. My mom not even trying to cook. I'm like, what the hell I is happening? I, <laughs> I was just telling Cuz like 
cuss. Anybody say anything about how uh, Thanksgiving? No. Mm. So, I don't know. Y'all can cut in my house. I'm going to throw down. You going to throw down? I'm going to throw some shit up, bro. Yeah. Oh, uh, friends, Kevin. Yeah, I'm, my, my, I'm with it, though. We were thinking about doing a friends, I'm Kevin. I'm with it, though. I got to find me a date, though. I think everybody beefing with their family or something. Who? Everybody beefing with their family. Everybody beefing with their family. Everybody beefing with their family. Everybody beefing with <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen uh, on camera. I'm gonna repeat that, cause Doug. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, good man. Job. I definitely gotta find me a Thanksgiving date. Yeah. So if you hear this, I need a Thanksgiving date, and I need a Christmas date, and I need a New Year's Eve date. Bro, you about to luck out though. You don't got buy none. Yeah, last year I was fucking poor <laughs> after the holidays. <laughs> My tree looked like I had kids. <laughs> that shit was crazy, bro. This year, I'm all, I'm buying my mom something, my sister something. None of these scattywags. Y'all do pan, p- Pollyannas? Hmm? Y'all do Pollyannas or anything? I'm retired. I'm all, like, work is not from work. I mean, work is not in the office, really. So we did it at oh, work. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. But I ain't doing a Pollyanna with nobody. Hmm. Nobody asked me for nothing either. But you, you you started shopping for the kids already? Uh, Kind of. Kind of, sort of. Not really. Hmm. Just need to. Fast. Put the tree up? <laughs> no. That usually come after, we usually do it after Thanksgiving. I'm surprised, bro. No, women be trying to... Women be put Thanksgiving. I, mean, I hate that we keep moving this shit up. Where your tree at? Why we keep moving it up? Thanksgiving. All right. Thanksgiving, bro. I'm listen, I understand. And, yo, that. I ain't gonna hold you. My tree up was in October. I'm from the hood. I'm my from tree was up in October. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I'm from the I'm from the hood, bro. We used to put our Christmas tree up like a couple of days before Christmas, bro. <laughs> it's like that's that bougie shit having your tree up for all that. Nobody got fuck that. <laughs> yo, I ain't gonna we putting the tree up, cuz. After right. Thanksgiving, that's that's. I'm gonna help decorate that drone. <laughs> <laughs> no, but last year was probably the earliest I ever put up a Christmas tree. I think we did that shit like December first, or maybe even before. Like Man. we used to put our Christmas tree up later. Shit, broke a I'm personal gonna... record, huh? You broke a personal record. What's that? What do you mean? Is that December first? I think so. It was the earliest before that. Earliest before that? I don't know. We want to know the latest. What? Like two days before Christmas. Damn, that's both vicious. <laughs> Kids was mad as shit. They thought they wasn't getting nothing. <laughs> Daddy, that was when they were babies, though. <laughs> low key, they didn't. They, low key, they didn't really peep. No key, they didn't notice though because they were babies. I'm so like now they're, you, I don't know. now they're older, so they 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 realize if a tree not up too soon, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but they were when I, when we did that, they were like they were babies. They didn't give a fuck. As long as it was Christmas, a Christmas. It was, yeah. You uh, still ain't see the Eternals? No, I didn't see that yet. When you gonna see it? I don't know. I ain't hearing too much good shit about it. That's how for you. I mean, I mean, I don't mean like that. Like the reviews. Are the, the, have you seen the reviews? No, They're not that. I don't, I don't look at reviews. I, I heard it was podcast confusing. reviews. <laughs> <laughs> it you was a, confusing. You in the Marvel? E? Not really. I can't. I don't, I don't know it like that. Like that. All right. All right. Me and him, we Marvel heads. Yeah, he, I'm a DC, he, he DC guy. Head. That's cool. I'm a DC guy. Unfortunately, I always gotta be against the grade. You know what I mean? I'm sorry, dark ass movies. Yeah, cool. and it's, they suck. <laughs> on top of it, that's the worst part about it. Huh? Actually, it's Batman. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> it's fucked up, but hey, you ain't even like the Snyder cut. I was fucking with the no, Snyder, Snyder Cut. Snyder trash. See, that's how I knew you're not a DC fan. A real DC fan would not be a, a, a acceptable with that Snyder Cut. <laughs> Snyder Cut is trash. It wasn't trash, though. Mm-hmm. Trash? What was good about it? It didn't add anything. It, all it did was add a bunch of pointless-ass scenes. It changed the shit up, man. We seen Dark Side. We got to see that nigga great. Batman. <laughs> <laughs> we, got to, we got to see Dark Side great. <laughs> It was that's still the good. same trash ass movie with a but that was just longer. It was long as shit. And it made me tired. That's all I know. So um, you know. But they did they did they did their thing on that Suicide Squad too, though. But you like that. You ain't like school. Bro, what the fuck? I went to sleep. Did you like it? Crib. You didn't like it. Oh my God. What is going on? <laughs> I don't know. It's like cheese, bro. Um you been getting your what boxing else is out right now? You been watching the boxing? Watch the boxer? You know I don't really. Yeah. I thought you was going to get the program. I was going to. See how you do me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dog, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Go ahead. Do your thing. I'm going to cover the boxing. No, man. everybody know who the top dog is, right? 
Yeah, good. my man Canelo took that shit. All right, right? cool, cool. All right, cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I know what's going right. on. I just, I think I didn't want you to give me said, no recap. You said Tyson Fury, man. I went, uh, I ain't want to hear that. Yeah, yeah. It mm. is. What you got? It is coming this week. Saturday. Don't ask me. Oh, we got to see that. Don't ask me that. They welterweights. Oh, okay. They, they, ain't, they ain't even on our level. Okay. So heavyweights. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, but uh, I'm not that's gonna be a good fight. fight. Can I? Can I, I be a, uh, I don't a lightweight? Know. Can we be a lightweight? A lightweight. Yeah, lightweight. Whoop. Can a we boxer. beat him? Yeah. Does that matter, matter that much? Yeah, in a fight. I mean, no. <laughs> I'm not fighting them niggas. <laughs> I'm not fighting. Like I'll wrestle them. I'll play. It. Yo, that's that's where it's at. I'll have yeah. to bear hug this nigga, bro. I ain't putting hands up with uh, Terrence Crawford. I ain't crazy. Hands is lethal at the end of the day. That jab gonna hurt. It's gonna be so fast. Nothing you can do about it. Mm. But uh, I, I watched that. I watched some UFC last week. Fat Boy did the flip. I didn't see that. that I was crazy. No idea what you're talking about. Yeah, bro. I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna start sending you the links. Yeah, so you see these gotta, fights, man. Give, yeah, I gotta get into this, that shit a little bit more. Got to man. It's crazy, bro. Cause we were supposed to do a live show, man. Start this shit off with. And your phone, man. You crazy. Your phone was so loud. I'm, I'm Hearing me? I'm going to start. Uh, See, we need niggas, a, a niggas quiet take, please. Niggas, hey, niggas take breaks. Quiet, please, we need a quiet please sign. Niggas take breaks. Uh, uh, niggas take breaks. and Don't know how to act when they come back. Yeah, I'm sorry. You lucky I ain't bring cuz this week. <laughs> cuz is reading me. <laughs> that shit was gone. Oh, man. That boy was done. He was reading me about my weed everything. Oh, man. That was a good draw, though, man. No, I wish man, I had cause, Shout out to cuz, though. He a, he a good dude. Only cuz. Big supporter. He is. Big supporter. Big supporter. Shout out to him. Oh man, we got a lot of shit lined up this season. Though, yeah, man. let's talk about that for, before we uh, sign off. Let's talk, let's let's give them a little rundown what we got coming. What we got coming? I mean, <laughs> I mean next week uh, we got my man Stu Tillery. Stu Tillery. It's actually a building. My cousin, um, my older Dope cousin, rapper, Stu you know rapper. Stuff? Yeah, I mean like, uh, do we get, so they can check him out before he come up. Uh, you can check him out on uh, Instagram at Stu Tillery. He on Title. He on Apple Music, Spotify, all that good shit. S T U T I L L E R Y. He's going. He's gonna give us a show because we doing we're shows. I don't know if y'all saw, saw that show, that little fire show we had last week. Yeah, we supposed to have my somebody else up tonight. Folded on me. Was we? I'm supposed to hear. I didn't know we had some. Huh? Remember I told you, bro. See, man, he making me look bad. Eh? How many? You ain't had to break it up. You made yourself a little bad. We didn't no, have to do I'm that. I'm shouting the person out to let the person know. I'm oh, not, okay. They well, ain't ahead. come. They ain't getting invited again. You can one strike and you out. No, no. I'm know. dead ass serious. This <laughs> <laughs> shit ain't no joke. <laughs> because I, I text them. I said, yo, if you can't come, tell me now. I know you so did I can say get you somebody was, else for the night. I, th- I do remember that. I do remember you saying we were supposed to have somebody on, but I thought at the last minute you said we were just going to um, bro, do us. I, I, look, bro, you know I'm a time, time, no, nah, I'm on time. No, nah, I feel you. I said, listen, yo, I'm texting you now. It's 6.30. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't make it, let me know so I can get somebody else because I had somebody else on deck. Right. All right, I'm about to go to work. You're not answering my question. <laughs> that, I, that's, that's the answer I got. It's like, all right, I'm about to go to work. I said, yo, just let me know. He said, I got you. So, oh, man, as time just went by, you know, I got off at 6.30, so I ain't had that much time between getting off work and coming here. But right. by the time, I just, it was too late. Like, I don't like hitting people up last minute at 5 o'clock. Yo, bro, can you come through? I was going to hit the ball up that hit me up at 4 in the morning tonight. Yo, bro, when can I come up? And say, he would have been anxious. He might would have came from New York for us. Oh, man. <laughs> but it's all good. Oh, we got some shit lined up. We got my man, um... Credit repair man coming up, my man G Hannigan. <laughs> we got him coming up. We got a lot of artists coming up. Um, as far as I know, um, we got a uh, R and B group that want to come up. Um, we got another uh, rap association group coming up. Um, shit, stepping in love will still be here in a few weeks. We're gonna be doing that first we'll step episode of stepping in love. We got Zest Gang in the building. We're gonna talk about them next week. Yeah, I'll preview on them. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of shit going on, bro. This month, I mean, this uh, season. Gonna open up some more, uh, and we getting down, man. We're gonna be definitely if this if this season had a uh, a thing, I think it would be like get loose because we're gonna be looser this season, gonna be a little more prepared, you know what I'm saying, and like more comfortable. We, I'm be myself, be man. Like, you gotta open up, we gotta yeah, open up, exactly. Um, let that personality out, let it shine, right? So, got a lot to offer. Definitely. Um, like I said, we got I want to do something around Christmas time, I'm gonna holler at E afterwards, you know what I'm saying. Want to do something around that? We're like a big show, you know what I'm saying? Not a big show, but a big show. If you know what I mean? Do a yeah, countdown sure. type situation or something like that, and then yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah, I don't want to get was coming. Rap Q was on the way. Jada Bull and my man Hook ninety two. We on it. Yeah, they on it. They on it. 
Uh, we got a lot of shit we working on. I don't want to tell y'all too much. Yeah. Um, the big step in that work is on the way. Coming. We definitely yeah. got. We we're not telling you. It's more stuff coming. Yeah, definitely. But I'm just glad to be back. Yeah. Uh, I took a break and then I had some shit in between. You've been up here twice, so you know what's up. Yeah. Um, but it's definitely a good feeling. Um, season two, bro. Shit, we got a whole season now. We did about twenty episodes all together. If you want to really think about it. Okay. Shit, we in there. You know what I'm saying? We 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 potters. We real we the real deal now. Yeah. Started from an iPhone. <laughs> now we here. Yeah, started from we got E in the building. Yeah. She holding it down. Definitely. Shout out to her. What more to can I say? We about to get up out of here. Uh, hit that like button. If you watch on YouTube, hit that like button. Please subscribe. Um I don't think everybody's subscribing. They watch them, but they ain't all subscribers. Yeah. So make sure y'all definitely hit the subscribe button. Come on, like, we got to have 100. Hit that like button, man. got to get to 100 subscribers. Y'all killing me. Bro, get us, get, get us it's there. It's me. Thank you. It's me, Let's man. Go. Thank y'all it's for um, watching. Sure. It's been Stepping in the Law. Jada Bull, my man Dove. And thank you for stepping with the steppers. We out. Yes, sir.